Ruby on the Outside is about a girl named Ruby who lives in Mount Kisco, New York, and her mother is incarcerated at Bedford Hills Women's Correctional Facilities pretty much since um, as early as she can remember. My favorite scene to write in the book was when Ruby herself gets in trouble because Ruby, whose mother is in prison, has tried so hard to stay under the radar. Trouble to Ruby is horrific repercussions. So Ruby's always tried never to get in trouble. When she throws a pencil at somebody and it lands right in his cheek and she gets detention, I, I was able to write a scene where I could explore all those issues. Is Ruby there? you know, because she's a danger to other students. Is she being punished? Is she supposed to suffer because everyone's outside playing on the playground? Is she supposed to act as an example so no one ever does it? And she herself starts to question all these things. And I was able to explore guilt and innocence because Ruby has obviously done something bad. She's hurt somebody. She didn't intend to. She has to take responsibility for what she did. At the same time, he was bullying her and she was sort of left with no options. And he gets away with it and she gets in trouble. While the topic is very universal, and while the struggle that Ruby goes through to make a friend and to have her friend accept who she is, the backstory is unique. I'm someone who believes that we should read about people who are different than ourselves. I, I'm someone who believes we should have empathy and the only way to really gain empathy for a situation that's not like ours is by reading an individual story, by reading about one girl who is really not that different than, than you or I, but has an experience that is so different. And I think through that, we can gain empathy and um, truthfully, maybe become a better society.